Another year of expanded playoffs and three more local teams competing on the gridiron for state championship hardware in Canton. This is the state title recap show. I'm Patrick Hamler and it comes as no surprise to the fan bases of these proud programs to be playing football in December as Coldwater looks to defend last year's state title. Marion Local strives for another championship to make it an even dozen and Versailles back in the state title game for the first time since 2004 as they look for championship number seven. Marion Local's march to Canton has been especially dominating, even by Marion Local standards. The Flyers, going back to October 22nd, have allowed 21 points total in their last six games. Run the ball, stop the run. That's been the mantra of head coach Tim Goodwin, and it has worked so far. Most recently in their 34-7 win over Hopewell Loudon last week, where the Chieftains, apart from two drives, had virtually no success in moving the ball. The last obstacle for Marion Local? Newark Catholic, 14-1, but not quite as dominating, though style points mean little in high school football. Winning is all that matters, and the Green Wave have done that. A win for them gives them their ninth state title, their first since 2007. The Flyers locking arms and ready to take the field, taking aim at their 12th state football championship. A little bit of a slow start in this one, but then they get going. Peyton Oddie finding Brady Ronnenbaum deep over the middle, moving the sticks for a first down. Oddie showing off the arm. Now on a third and 10. Audie showing off the arm again. Dylan Fleck picks up enough for the first down and then some getting very close to the end zone and then finishing the drive off. Darren Meyer punching it in from two yards out. 54 yards on the ground for Meyer in this one. Robbie Busher, some defense. Marion Local getting the sack there. Defense all over Newark Catholic in this one. 2.18 left, Marion facing a 4th and 14. Audie looking to the end zone, finds Ronnenbaum for better than a first down. It's a touchdown, 19-yard strike, but Marion Local up 14 to nothing. Newark Catholic looking to pass here, but Tate Hess reading it beautifully, coming up with the interception, one of two interceptions for Marion Local's defense on the day. We talked about the Flyers' defense being tough into this one, and they delivered. The Flyers not winning around after the pick, Adi to Ronenbaum, deep again for the touchdown. 51 yards to the house, his second touchdown of the day. And this one starting to get a little out of hand for Newark Catholic, but they would finally get on the board. Cole Cantor with the screen to Mason Hackett, who makes a dive to the end zone, puts that one in. That would be the only score for Newark Catholic in this one. So momentum for him now looking to pass, but they do in Aiden Eifert coming up with the interception. Again, number two on the day for the Flyers. Audi finishing off the drive, keeps it himself, and gets in for the touchdown. And the route is on in Canton. We go to the third quarter now. Audi picks up where he left off, keeps it again. We've seen his arm earlier. Now he's gonna show off the legs. Gone, 53 yards, peace out, touchdown Flyers. After a three and out, Marion Local gets it back. And Audi still throw and looking deep and hits Fleck over the shoulder for the touchdown. And now we head to the fourth quarter, fourth and one for Marion. Audi keeping it and picks up the first down, keeping the ball, keeping the drive alive. And then one more time for the Flyers. Audi rolling out end zone, but picked off by Kyle Langenbrunner. But Marion Local gets the last laugh in this one, 42 to seven. Picking up the hardware once again is Marion Local for the 12th time, most in Ohio State football history. Peyton Audi, 252 yards through the air, three touchdowns. Brady Ronenbaum with 124 of those caught with two touchdowns of his own. We caught up with Peyton Audi and victorious head coach Tim Goodwin after the contest, once again, state champion. It feels really good. I mean, every, every year uh, when you get to this point, it's kind of sad too, just because it's all over. and. You're, you know, you're ending your time, but you know, we took this as far as we can and played a pretty good game today. So uh, that's, all, that's all we can do. Yeah, and we talked about that this week. You know, it, it's kind of hard for us to do something we've never done before. And uh, we've never went 16 and 0 before. And you know, we wanted to do that. And we put in a good week of practice, came over here and played pretty well. It, it's special because I'm a football high school Ohio guy. You know, I grew up going to all these games when I was little, watching all those great Newark Catholic teams, St. Ignatius teams, and so I know the history, and it's, it's just cool as heck that uh, we're part of it. We always have plan B, C, D ready to roll, and 
you know, I got a great staff with me who were giving me ideas after, um, you know, that first series and how they were lining up and how they were reacting to stimuli. So, I mean, they were giving me some great play calls and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And they just happened to work today. And we made a few things and our O-line picked it up and they started playing really well in the second half. And, um, you know, it, we, it, everything just started kind of falling together in the second half. And um, give them a lot of credit. They came out, they're a really good team. They played hard. And, you know, we just kept playing flyer football. That's, it's huge. You know, that was our goal. We got the ball back. Our defense did its job. We had to put the ball in the end zone. That's what we had to do. And we did it. You know, we've been doing that all year. Confidence in our offense. We, we know we just, we're playing really good football now. And we can't be happier. As you see, we do this. You know, it's every year we make it. The community comes out and it just, it's awesome. The support, you know, it wouldn't be the same without our community. The support, they love football. They love the Flyers. And it just, it makes it so much better. Yeah, I've got had a big crowd of my family come here. It's glad to see them. Some have, haven't been to a game all year, and it's it feels amazing. Um, you know, you never know, um, you know how it's going to go. I, I knew that they were small and quick. It was the quickest defense we've won against. Uh, I would say the entire year. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I, I actually thought we could run the ball better than <laughs> than what we did, and and uh, you know they did a great job on that. And uh, uh, you know, I was telling some of you guys on the field, uh, we got a great staff, uh, and we have, uh, uh, you know, and some guys that are really glued in on what the opponents are doing. And they're, so after one series, they're, they're giving me ideas, and, uh, you know, a lot of those ideas work. So I want to credit uh, Brian Walters, uh, Adam Berkey, uh, Chad Oddie, Jacob Sherrick on the offensive side. Uh, uh, really, <laughs> really did a great job of of seeing what was there and uh, making some great adjustments. During that time, we, like with them, we knew that um, you re we really couldn't give up because Goodwin and all the coaches preached all week how they had a lot of tight games and they came back. So we just had to keep our foot on the pedal the whole game. And it worked, came, came out on top. But you nailed it. I mean, that was a huge swing right there, huge. You know, they had the momentum. And uh, you're right. They uh, that score we had right before half was was had to be deflating for Newark Catholic. You know, going into halftime had to be. Go ahead, Robert. Say yeah. Some, some words, Rob. um, he's Robert is our version of Rob Gronkowski. So you don't know. <laughs> he's like a, just a big goofy Labrador retriever right here. So go ahead. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> Hey, what's on your mind? <laughs> um, yeah, that is just great. You know, our defense all year is, it's been really good at just keeping our heads up, you know, and we don't give up a lot of points, but when we do, you know, we're really good at keeping our heads up and not getting too down on ourselves. And, you know, this was really key for our, I think it was, was that Tate to come up with that pick? You know, Tate had a Tate huge, or Aiden. Tate I'm or Aiden. Sure. I mean, both of them played an absolutely amazing game. And, you know, when you come up with a big play like that, it's, it's, a, it's a real mood swinger. Coming up on the State Title Recap Show, Coldwater Cavaliers in action. Can they claim another state title? Find out how they did in their matchup against Kerry next.